One of the things that people do forget about as well in terms of safe storage is or making the environment safe at home is also medications. Um, a lot of us have medications that may have expired and or we, we may have an excess of medications because we bought some at uh, one of the big box stores or something like that. Do we really need that many in the home? Oftentimes not, so we want to look at getting medication disposal kits, uh, something of that nature, to where we can um, dispose of those excess medications because if they're not in the home, we can't use them during a time of crisis. There are med planners, so you can get um, a, the, a couple days worth of your medications in a med planner and then give those uh, excess medications uh, to a trusted friend and or, and or provider, as well as what we call blister packaging. Um, that also helps during times of crisis in terms of slowing the access to those, uh, uh, to those means during a crisis. Uh, safe storage is one of those things that we do every day. Um, if we're talking about medications, again, making sure that we're doing kind of a daily check, do I really need this much medication in my house? I mean, and with that, a disposing of medication that's expired and or that we no longer use anymore. Um, the other things with that is making sure that if we do utilize a med planner, um, keep up to date on that and then make sure that those other medications are either locked away or stored. And sometimes one of the most practical things to do is if, you're, if you are utilizing a lockbox with a key, give that to a friend. You know, have them hold on to, hold on to that for you. Don't wait until the crisis to think about safe storage.